I want to talk about a, a, a truly bizarre story now. Um, I don't get this at all, but I know that Amy and, and Andy have been looking into it as well. The funeral fakers. Mystery as police... Or this isn't a funny story, it's just a bizarre story. Mystery as priest arrives for a service at one of London's most historic churches, only to find the mourners are actors, the coffin is empty, <laughs> the dead man might not be, and the whole thing was apparently organised by a paedophile. So a London priest arrived to conduct a funeral at one of the capital's most historic churches, only to find the mourners were fake and the coffin was empty. The mystery left locals in one of the capital's most exclusive boroughs baffled. This is a lavish funeral due to take place at the London Oratory Roman Catholic Church in South Kensington. I've actually passed it myself. It is very swish. There was a horse-drawn hearse, two luxury vintage cars, men on top hats, a full choir, and a church full of photos of a young man. There was even a director filming the day. Yet the funeral was cancelled when the priest leading the service was stunned to find the body was missing from the coffin and the mourners were paid actors. Amy Fisher, what on earth is going on here? This story is so weird. It's been floating around for a couple of um, days. Now everything, as you've just described, apparently it, it was also a paid uh, setup, costing some thousands of pounds. And, and the funeral directors earlier in the week put out a statement saying they had been paid. So somebody is quite literally paid thousands of pounds to set up a fake to set up this fake but not not sort of for a film or something no, just no, just, no, just to, to, because i think i think the one thing that might sort of be true in all of this is that is is that there there is a there is a missing man so the chap that was claimed to have been in the coffin that is an actual person it is who, a person who's actually who is, missing who is actually missing i mean not known if he's dead or not but this is a 23 year old latvian yeah, man who was reported missing yeah, in the new, so apparently new year apparently that bit like is true that there is a missing 23 year old Latvian man, but you know there's sort of been other reporting that the the guy who organised all of this has previously done something in Leicester Square. Where is this the man? Is the paedophile? Alleged. Alleged paedophile. Alleged. The, the the organiser. Yes, the, sorry, it's in, in quotes. It, was organised by a the paedophile. The organiser apparently he, he did weird. something earlier in the year where he sort of had a red carpet in and hired some nine year old children to be applauding him as though he were a film star. I sort of feel like I've stunned the, everyone into side and step because the whole thing doesn't have, get Andy, older. what are your thoughts on this? I mean, this is just a truly weird story. I read it twice. I don't fully understand it. Um, it it's like a, a Chris Morris sketch. If any of you have ever watched The Day to Day, which is this... Or situation. Brass Eye. Oh, Brass Eye, exactly, which Day to Day, 30 years old, I think one of the best... Uh, uh, comedy programs ever this is the sort of thing that chris morris might write it's so ridiculous um, but it's also not funny it's it's, just, it's, it's horrendous just utterly yeah. bizarre very very weird um, very very weird I don't very know. strange i mean i wonder what the uh, the priest is probably looking at this and still thinking i just felt like i woke up in a dream or a nightmare one of, one of the, the strangest stories i've read in a long time well uh listen thank you for your analysis andy williams there political commentator on amy fisher former government advisor